Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. So here I will be swatching CK24 that I got from Alias Press. It's a pretty nice looking plate and I got it mainly for um, Wonder Woman and that's where my right thumb is. But the other top designs are really pretty too. So here is some um, peel porn. And again, I'm super sorry for the awkward angle. I am filming on a point and shoot which faces downward, as you can see there. So I can't see at all what I'm doing. So I've been kind of winging it all these years. I started off with Girly Bits Little Black Dress. And actually, a lot of this video got deleted, or I should say a lot of this review got deleted when I tried to download it into my computer from my camera. My computer just freaked out and decided to delete the beginning of it and the end. So what you're seeing are some swatches or what I was able to salvage. So I think that came out pretty nice and here I'm trying to scrape the image differently and that came out beautifully. I would recommend this plate. It's definitely cute. The thicker images I went in with Wet and Wild and they picked up beautifully. The finer images are, are a little bit more temperamental. So those are the ones that do really nicely with girly bits. They come out really cute. And there's the swatch. So here I'm going in with Wet and Wild. And I had some bubbling. I don't know if it was the way that I was scraping or the polish or the pleat. So I tried a different way. And a different scraper. And it's still not perfect, but it's kind of like a water marble, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. But that definitely came out much better. And I really like that design. That one's with girly bits. Isn't that pretty? It still had some air bubbles, but it's okay. So that's wet and wild. And again, it doesn't do well with the finer images. So girly bits to rescue the day. And look at how pretty that came out. So for the, for the paws, I also use girly bits.
And that image, since it's kind of like a scratched image or barbed wire, it doesn't have to be perfect, so I figured the wet and wild would be fine to swatch with. And it's fine. So here's another one that's this thin image, so I used girly bits. So I guess that's supposed to be a leaf. And here we go again with the thinner image. That's going to be pretty for reverse stamping. And that one came out pretty nice. Now the leaves I used wet and wild. Oh, there's also butterflies, cute. I hadn't noticed that before. And there's girly bits for the finer images. And look at that awesome swatch, you guys. Super pretty. And unfortunately, that's where my camera, I mean, my computer decided to delete everything. So here are the swatches that I did while I was filming and put them on the um, lint ruler. Again, I'm sorry for the awkward angle, but there are the swatches. Isn't Betty Poop, Betty, Betty Poop, Betty Boop so cute? And there's a Wonder Woman. She was the one that I originally got it for. Her hip, I don't know what is up with her hip. I tried so many times to swatch it. It just doesn't look etched very well. But I'm pretty sure you can figure something out if you just wanted to draw her hip in, the little part that's missing. And here are some pictures. Here's Betty Boop, she's so cute. And Wonder Woman. So guys, thank you for watching. Definitely leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And have a great week. Bye.